Hello everyone, and welcome back to the beautiful oceans of Abzu, where we are swimming around with an unknown purpose, admiring the beautiful kelp and the seaweed, and look at these formations. I can't get over how stunningly gorgeous this world is. My only theory right now is that we must be terraforming everything, since we can swim around and discover little patches of spots where we've released things like these hawksbill turtles, which are absolutely beautiful, by the way. Where'd you go, buddy? Where we've released these hawksbill turtles, we've released leopard sharks. Let's kick up some of the sand again. <laughs> that shouldn't be as fun as it is, but it's really fun. We've released trumpet fish. So we can find these little patches of coral out in the <gasps> big wide ocean. Look, guys. Look at who we found. Oh, we scared him in. All right, stop it, you two. You spooked him. I want to see if the little, the little lobster will come back out. You guys. Come on. If you two can't behave, you can't sit next to the lobster. <gasps> there he is. Look. He's adorable. Okay, can I get a little closer? Ah, nope. <laughs> so there's all sorts of little discoveries to find. That's beautiful. Wow. But yes, so we are exploring the big open ocean. I'm not sure what our purpose is. There goes another hawksbill. Before that was a leopard shark. There goes another leopard shark. And oh, look, there's another one of my little robots. And I'm not sure what we're supposed to do. But that's okay in life. Look, there's more of the little lobsters down here. So I'm just going to follow follow what my instincts say to do. And that is to go and admire the beauty. Oh my goodness. Oh, wow. I saw the shadow of the Goliath swimming overhead and looked up and there he was. Oh my gosh, you guys. Ah, oh, it almost brings tears to my eyes in thinking just how stunningly beautiful this world is and that the ocean really may have looked like this and may still look like this in a few key places in the world. Just 200 years ago, it would have been so full. Do you guys know that over 90%, some estimate as high as 99% of the whale population has vanished just in the last 250 years due to whaling and overfishing? Can you imagine how much more amazing our oceans would be with 90% more whales? The sheer beauty of it is why I would want to reach out and make that happen. All right, I'm not sure. There's our trumpet fish. I'm not sure if we've gone as far as we can. What say you, little guys? Oh, gosh. Wow, they cleared it. So you guys are my little helpers then. That's what you do. <laughs> and here's my Goliath again. So let me grab the Goliath for just a minute. And we're going to look around while we're riding him and see if we can spot any more of these places where we can release new animals before we move on. Though truthfully, if I was ever having a hard day or I needed to be reminded why the little things I do in life, like using reusable bags, which sounds so dumb to talk about, so silly to talk about in the context of like what we're doing right now, but to think about those kinds of things, being vegan, using reusable bags, they're just tiny life changes that may be able to help this kind of diversity, the sheer mass and beauty of life. If I ever need a reminder about that, then I definitely would just come back here and look at this. Okay, so moving on, Siri, moving on. You can be as in love with the ocean, you can be as in love with the sea as you want, but let's continue our expedition. <gasps> and our exploring. <laughs> oh boy that was a biggie oh my gosh are those moray eels oh my gosh those guys are not very gentle moray eels and other eel types are there barracuda here i should probably be worried let's zip down a little bit all right little robots you're gonna defend me if i need it right because I am just one tiny minnow in this gigantic sea. Let's push our way through. What goes on down here? 
Look at this. It's beautiful. I wonder if these formations are maybe a result of lava. You can actually study how the different... Oh, look at, the, look at them. They're not coming down here. Very interesting. And there's a few fish here. Look at the tiny ones. Who are these little fish? I want to see them. But you can actually learn a lot about the history of a land by studying its geographic formations. And these kinds of almost hexagonal shapes and geographic formations can tell you quite a bit about the history of the land you're at, the pressures it's been under, things like lava. Oh my gosh! What's this? It's beautiful! What did it do? Did I just find a little discovery? <laughs> Don't look at me with that judging expression, my little robots. All right. Well, let's keep moving. I could talk about the beauty of the world and the reasons we should take care of it. And why not taking care of it? Why we all own a little bit of the responsibility of the loss that's already there. Forever. But for now, let's just explore and enjoy the discoveries that this amazing world has to offer. I guess you could consider that the goal of life in our real lives, too. Oh my. What happened here? Oh my gosh, look at that. What's down there? I'm a cautious person by nature. But let's swim down. Oh, this is terrifying. <gasps> Am I going to be okay? It almost looks like a graveyard down here. Oh, please, 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 please. What is this? What is this? What is this? Where am I? Where am I? Am I activating something? Like I said, I can't help but feel like we've been put in charge of a new world. And bringing the oceans to life. <laughs> Maybe that is the goal of being alive. To cherish and protect, enrich, and encourage just the flow of life. I could see that here. This is really, really beautiful. Oh. Alright, let's keep going. <laughs> I guess that's the flow of life too. It does keep going. Everything does change. Am I putting some of me? Like I said, is that is that the point of living? To celebrate all of life. Wow. Oh, I'm definitely thinking so deep about all of this, but I'm just so in love. Wow. Oh, wow. <gasps> You're so beautiful. I just want to squeeze your adorable little faces and hug your scales. Look at this. And you know, oh, look at the mantas. Can I get close to them? Look, there's a little, another little meditation spot. <laughs> Did you see the size of him? Can I ride him? Let's go see if I can snag one of them and ride on one. <laughs> little robots, what do you think? Can I get close enough? Come on. Come on. Come on, can I ride you? I really want to. No, he's swimming away. 
Ah, <sighs> flat shark, you're amazing. Oh gosh, little robot, you scared me. Wow, did you see the did you see the fins on that guy? He had little spikes, and look at this coral. And you know, this is really one of the things I think is the most beautiful about the ocean and that I have learned about it. If you take care of its base, if you take if you take care of its coral, if you take care of its water quality, if you take care of just the foundation, amazing beautiful things will come and arrive. Oh my gosh. Ironically, that also means taking good good care of its predators too. Places where sharks are left so that they can be... Oh, the giant trevally. Oh, you're so cool looking. Places where sharks are left to manage their own natural population ebb and flow and not over harvested or hunted actually end up being really, really useful. Let's see. Unicorn fish, how, fu oh, how fun, look at him. That's so neat. Food chain? Oh, did I get to watch as like he was eating something so I got an achievement? How awesome! But yeah, like I- rooster fish. Oh, that fits you. Oh, do I get to look at you now? Oh, wow. You are so beautiful. It is just so beautiful. Oh. <sighs> All right, all right, I'm getting moving, little robots. But yeah, places where you leave the predators actually encourage healthier ecosystems, encourage healthier animals, encourage more biodiversity, encourage more of this utterly stunning beauty. I really love it. My little robots, they're a little impatient with me, so we'll continue moving on. I wonder what I did. Oh, let's actually look up top. I want to look up top and see what it looks like from where we're at. The shark startled me. Where is he, by the way? Should I be concerned? There's still nothing. Just me. And the ocean. And the kelp. And then you dive back under the water. And there's so much everywhere! <laughs> That's another good metaphor for life again, isn't it? There's so much more than what you can see on the surface. And that's why even if you feel like the things that you do or the contributions you try to make aren't making a difference, there's so much more than what you can see on the surface, you guys. So don't give up. Do everything you can to live a beautiful life, to live a good life, to try to bring about beautiful things in the world. Oh, but I really, really, really am deeply ebbing into quite the, the silly spiritual Siri place. And that's not a bad place to be. But it doesn't look like there's anything else to find here, at least that I've seen, that we can activate. Oh, but swimming, oh, it's like swimming above the stars. So, we'll leave this beautiful primordial pool to encourage the rich diversity of life that it is. And let's move on and go through these doors and see what's waiting for us next. 